Hey folks, Father Sanputik from CG Virus. Today we're going to show you our new, brand new plugin for Blender VSC Optical Flare Engine. Uh, it is a dynamic plugin. Uh, that means you know uh, you can use it in use it just like After Effects uh, in VSC dynamically. So that will be pretty much exciting. So let's get it started and let's see how to use it. All right. After downloading the zip file, extract it in your hard drive. You will get uh, some materials here. First one is VAC Transform Tool from Double Z and KG Geo. Uh, if you have installed it uh, previously, you don't need to install that. This is our uh, VAC plugin, and uh, this is our preset. We are going to talk about it, and there are some lens flare element. It has been comes from uh, Cephir Win 3 uh, from you know, Blend Swap. So you can check it out here. He, I want to personally thank him for you know these awesome elements he has provided us. You know super elements. So we're going to use them. All right. So now let's get started with the project. All right. So we are in Blender VSC from video editing panel and uh, I have already loaded Tears of Steel awesome film so let's get started with Control alt u Blender Preference let's go to Atom install from file let's go there so if you already have installed the VSC transform tool PY you don't need to install that again because I have already installed that and uh, you will need to install the blender optical flare vsc.py I have already installed that as well so let's go to optical opti so this is my optical flare engine just check it in and we're going to use vsc transform so vsc transform tool yeah they are okay no problem let's go to system in system I have 16 GB of memory uh, I mean the RAM if you have good memory increase it because VSE just like other NLE programs uh, like Premiere or uh, KDN whatever everyone uh, use memory so I have given it 6 GB alright so one thing is done then what we need to do here is go to the file and uh, check the auto run python strip okay that's it let's save it save user settings here we go now press n and you will see our optical flare here and as well here so I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use this one so now what we're going to do is basically file append and I'm going to our project and that means you know the uh, plugin folder and there you will see the presets we're going to use that okay enter here and go to the sin and there is our optical flare preset so I'm going to append it now let's go to sin and there is our preset okay so first thing first I have given you three presets these are basically very much random it is not um, you can you can you know modify it uh, how to do it I will tell you uh, this is the this one is a huge flare that has you know some grid sections here this one is the middle uh, medium type of flare and this one is kind of small flare so how can we use it is pretty much easy go here TR global control okay and press G and just like that you can you know, animate it you can see the preview I'm pressing S okay you can rotate it pressing R you can rotate it okay many things can be done so this is our huge flare uh, it's a meta strip so press tab and you will see lots of files here okay so to see all of them press A and point 
so uh, you will see uh, basically um, first one is grid 4 okay so this is the grid you can you know press H to hide it alt H to unhide it okay um, there is grid mask uh, um, uh, basically it is uh, you know wrapping the light here so there is hoop uh, let's see H alt H so you can see that this caustic H alt H ghost so you can see all of this thing and there is core which is basically the main core of the light okay uh, these are streaks and these are discs so uh, basically we have six elements with a core okay um, yeah so uh, this is basically the foundation of it so let's see how can we change if we want to change our things obviously you have to change because this is nothing so let's see how can we change it uh, first of all there are files okay everyone has a file and there are some transform masks so let's change the mm, grid elements here so select it go to here let's increase it a little bit yep so we'll go to this change data file strip input okay let's we'll select it and uh, we are already in our element section so we can change it here so there are lots of grids you can use any one I'm using this one you can use uh, something like uh, you know mm, let's see grid 4 it will dynamically change it okay so yeah <coughs> something like that so uh, if I'm if I'm going to um, change the hoop if I want to change the hoop or if I'm uh, if I want to change uh, mm, something like you know uh, yeah let's change a hoop so what you need to do let's increase it a little bit I'm using middle mouse button with control uh, let's change the hoops yep this is our hoop strip input uh, you can change it here Mm, there are lots of hoops you can use any one let's use that it is not that interesting so I'm just going to use that yeah so that's how you can change it on run okay but there is another thing press tab to go back to that thing I'm going to use the big one the middle one has everything same with some uh, uh, some you know like grit mask I have hide uh, hide it, uh, hidden it caustic I have hidden it so uh, basically these are the same files just uh, hiding uh, you know the elements that's it and hiding the elements I mean uh, you know the less the elements the less memory and uh, of course the uh, you know the less lag so think about that all right but we're going to use the huge flare here because it will uh, give you all the things at once so for the tutorial purpose we're going to use that so what we're going to do is basically control shift uh, I'm sorry uh, select shift select and select just select these three don't the color okay don't think about the color so now control C copy and let's go to our scene here there we go so let's go here okay control now we can you know press point here so uh, the thing is um, whenever you are going to paste it you have to GY and top it up a little bit that means you know at least give it you know two layers okay two uh, layers to hold it here so here we go now let's go to shift control V and it will paste it here okay so press G X to you know uh, these are simple stuff I think you have uh, if you have used uh, VSE you know that things all right so now what you can do <coughs> before anything else let's go here and let's see what should we do so you can see in the optical flare section there is a flare num alright and there is a number 
it is called 004 so we're going to name it 004 first 004 VSC has some you know issues with you know linking things so we need to do that like that now let's go to the tab uh, go to the strip here uh, now what I'm going to do is basically select grid mask and all the green layers here shift press shift and select it don't um, select the core because it will uh, not function it will not work don't select the core except core select every green now let's go to create links and it will create the, all the necessary links here your job is done okay so now you can go here press G you can you know animate it you can rotate it but before that let's go here and let's change some property all right so uh, you can change your property here as well uh, just like before yeah so what does it mean it means that you can create your own uh, presets here and use them repeatedly you can use them um, on run as well in, in in your sim file so yeah maximum flexibility okay so yeah um now let's talk about extending the function so let's go g and y because i'm seeing something so let's take it here press e to extrude it and somewhere here it will finish yeah so let's see and let's do it like that so if i'm going to hide it you can see there was nothing and press alt h to see everything okay so now let's go to the animation part where we are going to use the animation yep so press g and uh, I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure uh, let's use it like that press s to scale it up a little bit here okay so um, how can we animate it yeah so first thing is there are some properties you will have position that is the position you will have X and Y position you can use interactive mode or you can use this mode you have scale you know scale x scale y whatever you want to do that with that i'm going to use uniform scale so yeah pressing s uh, you can rotate it press r you can rotate it here or you can use the slider and also we have other things like multiply multiply is a very important part if i'm going to press zero yeah press zero and uh, it will vanish so you can control the opacity from here yeah pretty cool all right so let's uh, animate it a little bit and you will understand um, the basic concept here so somewhere here it will start so I'm just going to multiply press 0 press I and we're done and then just go through here there we go. Uh, let's go. Let's go more. Let's go here. Here yeah, somewhere here. Yep. Okay. Let's go to one. Mm, one is not working. Uh, yep. Yeah. One. Press I. Okay. So it will create the uh, motion for you. So what if we you want to you know mm, animate it yeah, just, just like the traditional things you know the graph editor you can use the graph editor as well so not to worry also you can use the modifiers noise parameters anything 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 can be done all right you are seeing the possibilities yeah so let's uh, see what is happening so it is going like that it is going like that okay so like that Pretty amazing yeah mm -hmm. kaboom okay so let's select it press G and here I think it can go here press I here you can 
already location uh, you can animate it here mm, and let's go here press G again and you can you know, animate it here press I for location okay so that's it you can see the animation perfect all right for this shot uh, this has been done okay for this shot we're going to use uh, some small elements so let's go to the optical layer press it I'm going to use some kind of you know small elements here so let's copy shift and let's do it control C and let's go to scene press control V and let's go to G Y and here we go so what we can do here is basically select everything here GX just like you know basic editing and press E to extrude it somewhere yep see there we go so it's like that okay let's save it uh, it is uh, lagging too much because I'm recording all right so what we do need to do now is basically you can see the label here is 005 yep so let's do it here so I'm going to name it 005 now let's go to the meta strip and as usual just select all of them it doesn't matter which one is hiding hiding here so yeah there we go create links that's it and other things are pretty much fine so now I'm going to G uh, yep it will work um, but uh, you know press S let's do it like that uh, we can do it like that okay let's use some kind of you know uh, multiplayer point four something like that yeah it will work pretty much fine so yeah something like that I'm not you know taking uh, too much seriously so so let's get started here uh, pretty much fine press I for location and press I for scale okay now let's go to the top 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 and here we go okay now press G let's see here something and press S I'm sure it should be long here okay Psi scale location so here we go so this is our animated thing so if you want to see it smoothly always press P select your region alt A and it will cache your uh, thing here you know in your memory yep okay that's it you can see that there we go okay perfect press alt P here we go press P again let's see here somewhere you know. let's see it alt A so we can see that perfect like that you know so it's just a demonstration how how can we use that here uh, almost forgot about it uh, you can create your preset making your preset it's pretty much easy uh, just go to our preview preset first there we go okay click them all shift D through them all here there we go go here tap now the thing is um, I have tried to make it much more flexible so press G Y and make the lens layer up a little bit you can you are not limited to the six layers you can make lots of them lots of them means you know infinite but lens blur, lens blur is um, typically it takes six layers uh, anyway so if you want to increase the layer select this select the two strip or no not the grid mask 
I think uh, great mask press GY let's go there set it control C control V so you're getting another hook it's H to hide it or press alt H yeah you can see the hoop here so yeah you can use it like that and uh, then what you need to do is basically it was pretty much same you just need to take care of this code that is global 04 right so just uh, take it here 04 go there and other things are pretty much same so let's get to point there we go and just uh, select these grid mask hoop hoop okay caustic goes this streak grid links okay everything is done so now you can you know change your things just like before I have said you know change the data file all right so now suppose you don't need these guys anymore it is your preset so let's go to delete let's delete them okay let's do it all here I don't need them press G uh, press a and G and just you know oops, sorry G and X there yeah. so that could be your first file maybe then what you need to do here you can uh, you can do it like that or you can say my preset now let's save it control shift s uh, let's name it my preset there we go done and other things are pretty much same you know just uh, go to a new layer so like you know let's see file uh, in, uh, let's see um, let's go to the sequence that video editing file and append it from your uh, from your thing I don't know. Uh, this my preset let's append it here let's go to scene there we go so now you have your own preset there we go I change it on run change it uh, by default doesn't matter okay so you can use that just like before also if you want to make two layers of flare uh, you can do it obviously so what we can do um, let me go to this sample here let's select these guys GY there you go and GY and GY maybe yep so let's go there or okay let's see let's go there G X you know these are basic stuff yep so now we're getting two layers okay one is there you can see that here is our streak and this is the B layer yeah so that's how you can do your uh, two layer system all right yeah <coughs> let's save it so uh, this is kind of you know the end of the tutorial and uh, um, uh, this is basically I have made this to uh, made this plugin for my own work for my own studio so um, you are very much welcome if you can use it yep you can use it if you have any suggestion for it um, please let me know I'm father Samputik from CG virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye